He's been a prominent spiritual leader in the D.C. area for decades, but tonight he's in jail accused of a creepy crime. Thanks for joining us, everyone. I'm Sean Yancey. And I'm Tony Perkins. Police arrested Rabbi Barry Freundel this morning for voyeurism. They say the charge stems from something he was doing inside a synagogue. Fox 5's Maureen Ume is live in Northwest with this one. Maureen. Well, Tony, not just a synagogue, his synagogue, the Kesher Israel Congregation, the one he's led for 25 years. He's accused of watching women using a camera he hid in one of the most sacred places inside this house of worship. The alleged crime happened in an area of the synagogue known as a mikvah. It's a ritual bath that looks something like this, where congregants go to get spiritually cleansed. D.C. police say Rabbi Barry Freundel, the longtime spiritual leader of Kesher Israel Congregation, used cameras set up in a changing area just outside the mikvah to peep on women. Clearly, I'm surprised. You know, this is not something that you expect from, from religious people. Aaron Tesler is fairly new to the synagogue and, much like other congregants, is still processing the rabbi's arrest. You know, I think people expect any area, whether it's a bathroom in a Macy's or in, in a mikvah, to be private. Um, and obviously, any kind of breach of that privacy is, is, is a serious issue. According to a police report, Rabbi Freundel was seen installing a camera hidden in a clock radio above a shower at the mikvah. Freundel allegedly told a 35-year-old woman who caught him that he was fixing the shower ventilation. He was arrested Tuesday morning in an alley behind his Georgetown home just blocks from the synagogue. Neighbors who saw it happening say detectives carried out computers. Freundel is charged with voyeurism. To hear that from you know, on a rabbi that you know, people trust is uh, very, uh, very disturbing and concerning. According to Kesher Israel's website, Freundel serves as an adjunct professor at both the University of Maryland and Georgetown Law School. He's also consultant to the Ethics Review Board at NIH and the National Institutes of Health. This is a leader of a congregation who should be held to a certain standard. However, as a member of a Jewish community, of any Jewish community, I believe that our faith is what binds us together, not necessarily our leaders. And that's what's important uh, in Judaism is that we believe in our connection with God, not in our connection with people. Um, and I also feel very deeply for his family and for the members of the congregation because, you know, this is difficult for many people. And that seems to be the sentiment uh, from a lot of people here tonight. A lot of them obviously shocked and uh, very saddened by what's happened, but saying, you know, let's let this process play out. Let's see exactly what did happen in this instance. I should tell you that the board of directors put out a statement earlier saying that Frondell has been suspended without pay. He is due in court tomorrow morning. That is the very ladies from here in Northwest. Maureen Ume, Fox 5 Local News. Tony? All right, Maureen, thank you very much.